Hey guys, what if here? Welcome back to NASCAR House Crew Mode for episode 75. We got Dover and Coke 600, I think. No, Darlington. Okay, that will be okay too. All right, so Darlington I know is going to be easy. Unless we get some weird, like, bad juju luck, which we seem to have there more often than not. So you never know. But yeah, we're doing good. Um, maybe this menu looks different. Um, I The game needed, not the game, but the, the console needed an update. And then because I had to shut this game off and then come back, why is there just a white box there? I, Man, every time I come to this game, there's just more weird things wrong. Like as if, it's almost like as if this game barely functions on a cosmetic level. But no, that's my fault. That's my fault. I, that's that's my fault for playing it. That That's a great excuse for bad game design. It's your fault for playing it, yeah. Yeah, let's just, let's just excuse bad things and just blame the consumer for, for what the fuck. I don't know. We're going to get into it. Um, same settings as usual. Nothing's different there. Um, we're going to continue to use our paint scheme to make that one person super salty in the comments. Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't don't take it to heart. I'm just being a, a sassy bitch. Um, but yeah, settings same as usual. Uh, we're just going to jump into it. Always a big shout out to my two Patreon people as well as my YouTube members for supporting my channel. I appreciate that every month. The perks you get are early access to videos before they come out to the public as well as channel emails for my live stream. I don't think that guy is going to become a channel member after I just basically shat on him. But it's, but it's out of love. Platonic. I don't know. <laughs> Stop talking about it. Making it worse. Let's just get into it. Oh, this is our car rating. So, yeah, we're going into Dover with 100 everything across the board. That's different. That That's it. All right, that's, let's get into it. Look at me take precaution. I cha I'm changing my batteries because I felt the controller not vibrate when I shifted. I'm doing all the all the smart grown up things today. Through three and four, goal times a twenty four zero. I think we're we're gonna shatter that, shattered it in practice. So uh, yeah, twenty three five and eighth. Okay, not pull. I, okay, I might have to take my headphones off and like try a little bit. So. All right, that's that's interesting. Kurt seven, so that's good. My phone blooped. Okay, who's on pole? Tyler Reddick, and of course Ryan Blaney is third. You know the rival counter is only at like 172 for back like in Heat three. That's the all-time record. So we are very close to surpassing that. That is very interesting. Brad is on fire. That's adorable. Why does it look like it's at nighttime or well sunset? I don't know. Are we gonna get the typical? Yeah, typical heat start where we're just gonna just have a massive launch on the start, go from eighth to first, almost score the victory. But we can get down. Oh no! <laughs> right on cue, there's Ryan Blaney. Can I get down the bottom? No, not really. Well, that was fun. If I was just on the outside, or the inside line. God damn it! Fuck. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot harder than it has any right to be because Ryan Blaney, even though he didn't really put me in the wall. He, like, force pushed me in the wall, but I felt it. I felt his presence there, and he was trying to make it harder on me. The inside of Bell. At least we got the preferred lane. He's going to give me room. Thank you. Now i got to worry about Blaney here. And find a way around him. The rival counter has not gone up. I'm not going to factor any of that in yet because it didn't actually hit me. It was just more of me being scared, I think. There was, there was, there was a bit of fear in me. I just don't know how I'm going to make this pass because... It's just like it's a, it's just inevitable. He's gonna. I'm like we're gonna make contact. So I don't know what to do. That's a nice run off the corner. We'll go down low. If we could just get a little more. Okay, perfect. All right, he is hitting me. Don't fuck it. <sighs> it just has to be harder than it has any right to be. What a bitch. What an absolute bitch boy. Oh, of course, right on cue. There's just a Penske car behind me. Why am I just being like sexually harassed by Penske drivers? Anytime Ryan Blaney and I make contact, you bet your sweet dollar, it'll be Austin Centric or Joey Logano right there behind me just waiting to perch me. Ooh, ooh, okay, that's that's good. He went up to the high side there. I don't know why he did that, but it's going to work out for us. We'll be able to clear him. Perfect. All right, we just need to clear him in one so he doesn't run me over. Kyle Busch is dropping back. I just bitch boy through the corner way too much. I don't know why that word is a thing I say a lot now. I don't know, but I wimped it in there. That's that's for damn sure. Advertisers are not going to like this video. But then again, when do they ever like my channel? We'll be pitting here shortly. I guess the other frustrating thing is this, other than the Blaney stuff, it's been an actual, like, really good battle trying to run down Kyle. We were like 2.8 seconds back before, and now it's, you know, whatever that it's at now. 
and Kyle's pitting. We're going to do the same. I, I was going to wait another lap, but you know, Kyle wanted to pit. We'll pit with him so he doesn't get the undercut. 35. That's probably a bit too slow, but we'll get our four tires in fuel and be out in the way. 16.4 second stop, and we're going to be Kyle Busch out of pit road by a country margin. Damn, it's like, I, that's, our pit crew isn't even maxed out, and we still... I don't know what to say to that, but I'll take it. That's really unexpected. I didn't... I wasn't prepared for that. I was expecting it to be another just epic battle. This cycle out into lead. Kyle Busch dropped a lot. <laughs> He's not even in the top five. I don't know what on earth happened. Gregson staying out for way longer than he should. Kyle dropped back six and a half seconds. I don't understand that. Also, we got another rival of Hesemans there to be a problem to add to the rival counter. So that's another very adorable thing we'll be, uh, we'll be seeing here pretty shortly. Unless I just pass him on the outside without any problems. Yep, no problems. Okay, that was... Alright, that was that was nice. No, I was wrong. Apparently, Gregson just is fast and is just in the top five on his own accord. Don't personally understand that. I don't think I... I, I don't really agree with that, but he's there. And that, I'm just... I don't, I don't understand. And that's stage one under wraps. Stage two should probably be even easier since we got the track position, we got the restart gear, and Ryan Blaney is not anywhere near me to cause problems. So I think we'll be fine. We'll start picker... Absolutely shits the bed. Okay, good. We keep the lead. Everything's all fine. So, uh, I think, I think we'll be good. Just need to get a good launch and a start. And then, uh, we'll probably wrap it up when stage two's over. Oh, that's the yellow. Somebody wrecked in the back. Uh, okay. That doesn't affect us. We're going to pick get our four tires and fuel. And that means we're still going to be first. Things are still going to be fine. I like how the 70 car blew up. That, that's, that's a good metaphor for the company now so it's very fitting so yeah uh straightforward stage two just get a nice launch here on the start and we'll be seeing you later field once more and that's a nice stage two dub brad was actually in second place he is the car on fire so i'm expecting him to be a little bit tougher than everyone else but we'll still get a good start be okay just i still have to be on i'm on peak form that's what i'm trying to say it's not it's not as big of a cakewalk as i was originally perceiving this to be Logano and Brad swaps positions. I don't know if that helps us or not. But anyways, 35 laps to go. And we'll have to do one more pit stop. Maybe two, I'm not sure. If it does go green, then it will be interesting if we can make it on one stop. So There is a hint of interesting here, but I'm sure it'll get completely just ruined by yellow. I, I know the script all too well, really. That's what I'm trying to say. Even right now, Brad is still under a second back from me, so if I really make a catastrophic mistake, he'll be there, so. Yeah, I gotta say, they're they're making me have to, you know, work for it, which I, uh, I appreciate. I don't know what happened to Brad. He was running second about seven-tenths away from me, and he just fell out of the top five, like as if his car just blew up. I don't know. It was just really weird. No, okay, he did blow up. Okay, well... <laughs> That was the only car that was able to compete with me in any capacity, so that... Wow. Did I did I make him, like, just drive so hard to try to catch me, he just blew up? It's kind of like what Thunder 04 would do if you, like, draft with someone for too long and your car was really, really good. They would just blow up in front of you. It's, it was almost like that, but in reverse. We're pitting this lap. It's going to be hitting zero, I think, on the back straight. I'm hoping he doesn't just run out early. I know Dover's kind of had that bad tendency but okay yeah i actually did go up a little bit earlier than i expected but we'll be able to oh, oh yeah there it's starting to sputter so yeah we'll be able to coast down there very very safely i i think we still have to pit again so i think this is not it for pit stops but yeah uh just four tires and fuel and then that's it 15 7 people are leaving pit row but these are all lap down cars so yeah we should i think we'll have to pit again so yeah we'll see how this progresses but yeah, we got a nice lead. They actually seem to stay out as long as they possibly could with me, so that's interesting on their part. We got 18 laps left to go in the race, though. We, it says we got 20 in the fuel, but we burn more fuel per lap, so uh, I don't know. I don't know if we'll save, but I'm, I'm curious how close we'll get. Well, 7 to go, 8 in the fuel. We're definitely going to be about a lap or two short, so the rest of the field should be pitting, so... Uh, this is definitely just a bit of an oddity or just weird with how this is all going to play out, but maybe we'll get really lucky and someone else will win other than me. That'll be kind of wild. 
<laughs> right on cue. All right, so uh, I'm not going to take tires. Not repairing damage. We tapped Kurt Busch. That got us 2% damage. That was that was a bit silly. But yeah, we're going... F I guess half a can. I guess that should be good. Yeah, because we're going to be restarting with like five or four to go. So we'll be fine with that. So yeah, do that. I think that's... Okay, that's all they did. All right. So we'll be able to be bailed out by our disgusting start. And that should be more than enough of, of the deficit, or at least the, in terms of our start, to just be good to the end, I guess. So, uh, let's see. Four to go. Okay. And see, we got a good start. So, uh, I think we'll be fine. Once the rest of the field took right side tires, I'm not aware of. I don't know. I was not afraid. I was not going to take that chance. I, I'd just rather just keep the tires I have. White flags out. We've kept our lead. It hasn't really shrunk at all. In fact, I think it's just getting bigger, so... Uh, another race, I feel like Saitama from One Punch Man, essentially. <laughs> Just begging for someone to be better than me. <laughs> I mean, okay, it happened at Atlanta, but that doesn't count because I wasn't even using the proper track-specific chassis. So I kind of expect to lose there, but everywhere else, this is kind of disgusting. <laughs> uh, another win, more laps led. I mean, just diabolical. And I don't know how that's 99 overall rating. I don't understand that, but whatever. At least Ryan Blaney tried to make an interesting Gregson just casually gets third. I don't understand that. Kirk gets cucked out of a good finish, which is what else is new. Larson with a horrific finish. Don't personally agree with that. And Brad Kozlowski, who did, I guess, have an engine issue or something, gets 23rd. So that's very typical of his 2022 real life season. Uh, more monstrous amount of money. That's about a million, I think. Almost 1.1. So that's really nice. Phenomenal in the chase, playoff thingies, and all that stuff. So, on the well, actually, we get our monster trophy. That's adorable. Uh, lap sled. I think we led about. We didn't even have the fastest lap. That's interesting. Uh, Eighty-two of the one hundred. God damn, that is that's a lot of laps that we just led there. We have certainly got to move up in the standings. Drex got fourth. A good comeback for him. Yeah, we'll see what what our all-time stat thingies are. That puts it at 2.3 million. And car wear is going to be moderate because, yeah, we got like a total combination of like 3% damage. But apparently that just made the car completely ir irreparable. I don't know what happened. But, uh, we got our incentive, which was top 20, which really should have, I shouldn't, it shouldn't have been that. But I messed up because the game reboots and crashes so many times. I was bound to make a mistake and uh, I did. That's our work plan, so we will be going into Darlington with not 100 everything, it's just the 98 engine, that's from, like, a carryover from other stuff. It's gonna take, like, a, like, two races just to get it to 100, like, fully, with the repairs and everything. So, let's look at our stats. Uh, 33rd, or thir <laughs> 33rd career, and where does that put us? That ties us with Fireball Roberts. I, I, did, I just disrespected him, because I didn't even say his name right. That is, man, I am just... I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm just falling apart. Just imagine if I was like an alcoholic. I wouldn't even be able to fumble words at all. But yeah, we are, we are tied with him. Uh, one away from Kurt and then another away from Brad. So uh, yeah, we're, we're moving up on that regard. So 1372 times that by four is 5,488. That will put us just above Ernie Irvin. So I believe we have made progress on that. So... That's good. That That's all I have to say on that. <laughs> Anyways, on a Darlington. And that'll be another pretty like straightforward dub. So, yeah, we'll get that over with, too. Two, three, and four, goal time. I forgot that our goal time is tied with our sponsor stuff. So, that's like a top 20. So, we'll easily shatter that. 29.5. Not exactly the... That's still 11th. Okay. So, uh, headphones will be off. And I'll have to try a little bit. So, all right. We might go back to ninth or 8th, depending on who, you know, gets mismatched penalties. And, of course, Ryan Blaney's right there in front of me, just to cause me more problems. So, man, it's, like, just so predictable anymore. Look, I was like, okay, Kurt. Oh, we might have gained a spot. Yep, Kyle Bush went to the back, so. We're on the outside, so that kind of puts us at a disadvantage, unless I can find a way to the inside line, like, right away. But, of course, we got a rival just right there in front of us. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, that's a disgusting start. Okay, I didn't... It's been a while since I raced to Darlington. I don't remember... I didn't re uh, really remember if I had the restart gear, but um, clearly I do. 
So we'll go from 10th to 4th or 5th on this initial start, which is very nice. Kurt's up here. That's good. Of course, Logano's lean, so that's kind of... The game's just really trying to just make this just very insufferable. First, it was Gregson being very dominant. Then it was uh, Ryan Blaney being always near me at every waking hour, and now it's Logano. I don't know why this universe just... Today, it just really chose chaos. Now we got to find our way around Chase Elliott. He's going to kind of check up there a little bit, duck down low. That was actually kind of a perfect type of pass there. I'll have to prefer a lane here to get down low. Perfect. I don't know why Chase did that. That was uh, very unprofessional of him. We'll get the inside Logano here. Would love, like to side draft him, but I don't, I'm don't. i I'm just too scared to try that. So now we're... Okay, this is, okay, this is terrifying. He's going to do that little bit of checkup in the middle of 1 and 2. So, uh, yeah, right there. Actually, still wasn't enough to clear him. He might put himself in the wall here going into turn three. Don't know why the AI do that, but I'm giving him as much room as I could physically give him, and he still kind of uh, effed himself. So, uh, yeah, we'll just get the lead, and we'll be good. I mean, they tried, but it clearly wasn't enough to stop my greatness. I'm pitting this lap. I'm not dealing with all that dumb lap traffic there. So, yeah, um, pretty typical stage right now, just going through the motions. There's just not a whole lot to really say. 16 seconds stop out and away. I mean... Unless something weird happened. Why does my phone have to bloop? It, 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 actually, that's the most inter interesting part of this whole race. You know, I'll let it go. Clearly, Joey goes down the road. We'll inherit the lead. And that's going to be a very easy stage dub. Okay, stage ends early with the yellow. At least we know what to expect. Man, this is just... I'm so sorry you have to sit through this. <laughs> oh, Denny Hamill stayed out. All right, interesting. I think we'll get a good start, though. And we'll be okay, though. But... There's, there's, like, a little bit of tension. No, there's not. Never mind. All right. Bye, field. Pit stop number two of the day is going to commence. Boy, has this race been boring. Luckily, you're getting, like, a cut-down version of it because, holy shit, nothing's happened. Out and away. I, <laughs> it's just there's no content to take out of this. I didn't even know the stage was going to be wrapping up. Okay. Well... On to the last one. Hopefully something weird happens or anything to talk about. I, I got nothing. Nothing changed with the pit stops. I'm rolling again to spot. Oh, God. I'm I'm getting sweaty thinking about it. I uh, This last stage will be probably 28 laps or something. 25. Okay. Slightly longer than stage one and two. All right. Well. All right. That's, I got nothing. Ooh. Oh, that's... No, it's still too early to pit. There's a lot of cars to lap down. Um, don't know what brought out the yellow, but we'll just rack them up and do it again. No one pitted, so okay. That makes things easier for us. I'm pinning this lap. I think we have such a big lead, we can probably just get away with just taking four tires and fuels. So that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm just that cocky that it can work out. So yeah, just a standard everything. This was the thing last year, I think. But yeah, why is like half the car black? I don't know. Just add that to another just weird oddity of this game. So, that's just weird. Yeah, four tires out in the way. And we should cycle back on a lead. I'll be shocked if we somehow aren't. But I think we should be fine. Oh, look at me. I'm exiting pit road normally. That's a core 2020 joke. I don't think anyone's going to, like, know. So, remember that, Darlington? That was a that was sloppy joke. I, like, penalized for that. That's something to talk about because I don't have anything else to address with all this. Just whatever this is, it's not even a race. It's just a, it's just a slaughter. They must have took two tires because they gained about three seconds on me during the stop. So I'm going to assume they, yeah, they just took rights. So yeah, that's just how big of a lead we had, and just I don't even know if that that means. I don't know. We're we're good. That's the most important thing. Stay on the bottom right here. That weird moment when Kaz Grawl is outrunning William Byron. I don't personally agree with that, but the game's making that a reality. Also, I wonder if that 
very minute contact with Hesimus is going to continue to him be a rival. Probably. So, that will just always be a thing for just the entirety of this series. That's just, nothing's going to change from that. My flag's out. I don't even know what to say, what even this race was. It just wasn't fair. <laughs> the poor field just had no chance. Ryan Blaney's salty, angry rage isn't even enough to run me down, so... Yeah. I'm just going to take it. I'm, I know what this game wants. It's going to want me to do something. Okay, he just backed off. Okay. Well. Oh, oh my god. We're going to be like side by side with Kerr at the line. That's kind of adorable. Alright, that's... I, I, okay. I saw what you did, game. That's that's adorable. We were side by side with Kerr at the line. Uh, that, that, that makes my heart a little bit... Just feels better of just what we just injured, endured. <laughs> I don't know how that's a 103 p uh, speed rating when we desecrate the field, but, you know, I, I don't make the rules. So, obviously, we get the win. Brian Blaney second. Brad, a decent finish. Um, only 15 on lead lap. That's kind of scary. So, our earnings going to be another just monstrous amount. Over a million, I think, if I had to guess. Yep, a million ninety. Wow, right on the dot. <laughs> Did we just get that last race? That's It must be down to, like, the hundred the hundred. The hundreds of dollars difference. I don't know. It's just, that's, I don't know. But, yeah, uh, more wins, more good everything. Uh, victory lane celebration. We won the throwback thing, which I don't think we've done before. We won the Southern 500, but definitely not that race. So, I think we led all but maybe five laps with how much we dominated. Yep, 60, okay, 67 of the 73. So, I was, I was, I was off by one lap. Kyle Bush on the move, 39th to 23rd. You go get him, Kyle. And tough break is Ty Dillon. What did you really expect from that? Oh, and the game crashed as I'm in the middle of stretching. Wow. Yep. Could not go an episode without it just falling apart. Yeah, incentive contract. Yeah, we're going to go with two top fives because I know we can get that. So, yep. All right. Well, uh, I, we're, we got everything all situated. I mean, well, I'll have to do this all next episode. But let's just actually get to the stat stuff. With our 34th win, I don't even need to look at it. We tied with Kurt, so that's cool. I'm sure it'll last for just one week, but it's cool to be tied with him nonetheless. So with 57.56, when you times that by 4 from 14.39, that will put us, I think, I think still in the same spot. We are under Buck Baker, so there's that. I think, I, did we move up at all? I, post that or what if knows, but I don't know. But yeah, so we're not too far off of Buck Baker. And then Biffle's not too far off of that too. So yeah, we're just climb up through the ranks. <laughs> With that, we'll end today's episode. So yeah, next one will be Kansas. That's one That was very easy in the, the playoffs, so this should be another very easy dub. Coke 600. I have no idea how that's going to go, so that might be, like, kind of like an actual challenge. So we'll see. Or maybe I won't even have enough time. Or maybe there will be bonus race in this. I don't know. We'll have to throw everything in the ending software to figure out. But if you get the the, the, the Patreon thanks, then, then you know then, then that's wrapping up. Big shout out my two three Patreon supporters. The Kamikaze Games, Billy Kier, Golf Kill 100, Mexican League 1986, Akbar Fan 5556, Jason Hellman, and Mark Harmon, and my name is John for the support. Again... I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It does me a lot. Always goes a long ways. So thank you for doing that and being awesome. So just, just, I really appreciate it. I'll do it for me. Next episode will be Kansas and like I said, Coke 600. So Coke 600, I think will be interesting because I, I really don't know how it's going to go. So yeah. Um, Gateway, that should be a very easy dub. Same with Sonoma, same with Nashville. So maybe next, maybe the next, next episode will be like triple header i don't know we'll figure it out but yeah um that'll do it see you all next episode see you all later and as always have a good day everyone